famous poem uh, it it's uh, summarized uh, today i summarized it that is the uh, long ago in a kingdom by the sea lived annabelle lee who loved the, the narrator both she and the narrator were were children but a new love more powerful than that of the angels who uh, envied them a wind children uh, and killed annabelle a uh, wind children and uh, sorry and wind uh, children and killed uh, annabelle but their love was too strong to be defeated by angels or demons the narrator is reminded of annabelle uh, by everything including the moon and the stars and the uh, and at night he lies by her tomb by the sea in the analysis of the poem is edgar allan poe wrote annabelle lee in may 1849 a few months before his death and it uh, first appeared in the southern literary ma- messenger uh, so it's important where it first appears so that is the name is the southern literary messenger Post Thomas Lee in November 1849. That's uh, the date also important. Yeah, the year also important. Although the poem uh, may refer to a number of women in Poe's life, most acknowledged it to be in memory of Virginia uh, Klim. Uh, uh, so it's uh, the it's. Also important, the name of the memory uh, uh, of the person is Virginia uh, Clem, a poor's wife who married him at the age of 13 and who died in 1847 before she turned 25. The works returns to Poe's frequent uh, fixation with the romantic image of a beauty woman who has died too suddenly in the flash of earth, uh, as uh, in, uh, indicated more th- thoroughly in his short story, The Oval Portrait. Poe often associated a death with the freezing and capturing the beauty, and many of his heroines reach the uh, financial uh, of loveliness on their deathbed, as with uh, Ligeia, Ligeia of the uh, eponima story. The poem specifically. Fickley mentions the youth of the unnamed narrator and especially of Annabella Lee uh, and its celebrating childlike emotions in a way consistent with the, the ideals of the Romantic era. Many Romantics uh, from the 18th and 19th century viewed adulthood as a, a corruption of the uh, poorer instincts of childhood and they preferred nature to society because they considered it to be a better and more instinctive state. According to Paul, treats the narrator's childhood love for Annabelle Lee as fuller and more eternal than the love of adults. Annabelle Lee is gentle and perse- and persistent in her love and she has no complex emotion that may dark dark and or complicate her love the poem sitting has several gothic elements as the kingdom by the sea in lonely and in a an indefinite uh, but mysterious location poe does not uh, describe the sitting with any specific city and he waves a hazy a romantic atmosphere around the kingdom until he ends by offering the stark and horrific image of a uh, specu- uh, sepulchre uh, there by the sea. Uh, the location of the sea recalls the city of the city of the city in the sea, which is also located by the sea, and which is uh, conceptually connected to death and Desi. At the same time, the nostalgic tone and the gothic background serves to uh, inculcate the image of uh, love that outlets all uh, of opposition. 
from the spiritual uh, jealousy of the angel to the physical barrier of death. Although Annabelle Lee has died, the narrator can still see her bright, see, uh, bright eyes and image of her soul and of the spark of life that gives a promise of a future meeting between the two lovers. As in the case of number of opposed male protagonists who mourn the uh, premature death of beloved women, the love of narrator of an goes beyond simple adoration to a more bizarre attachment, uh, whereas Annabella Lee seems to have loved him in a straightforward, uh, if non-sexual manner. The protagonist has mentally uh, defeated her. He blames everyone but himself for her death, pointing at the conspiracy of angels with nature and at the show of uh, uh, paternalism inherent in her high-brown uh, kinsmen who can who came and bore her away and he remains dependent upon her memory while the narrator of the poem uh, Ula Lumi suffers from the unconscious need to uh, grieve and to return to Ula Lumi, uh, Ula Lumi's grave, the narrator of Annabelle chooses in ironically to lie down and sleep next to a woman who is herself lying down by the sea. In him, Annabelle Lee continues the uh, pattern of a number of pose name, names for his dead women in that in uh, that it contains the lulling but uh, melancholy ill sound. Furthermore, Annabelle Lee has a peaceful musical re rhythm which reflects the overall uh, musicality of the poems, which, uh, which makes heavy use of the uh, refined phrases in the uh, kingdom by the sea and of the beautiful Annabelle Lee as well as of the uh, a repetition of other words in particular although the poem stands have a somewhat irregular length and structure the rhyme scheme continually emphasizes the three words me lee and see enforcing the linked nature of uh, these concepts with the poems while giving the poem a song like sound that's all about anna Bolili.